everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up and I may be the last person who reviews Monster High dolls to review this six pack, but hey, I'm here, I'm doing it, it's happening. So finally, finally, I finally have Monster High G3 dolls in my possession. So no, they have not appeared in my Walmarts anywhere in the state of New Jersey, but this was available for a brief period of time on walmart.com and I grabbed that puppy because I have no ability to delay gratification. So this is a six pack of G3 dolls and it's around like $139 I think but I can't remember and I can't find it on Walmart so we might have to put that in here but it's basically one of those Monster High six packs of budget dolls. So uh, there's six dolls, 20, 40, 60, 80, $120 worth of dolls, technically, if these were each $20, but they would each be more than $20 probably. They'd be like 25-ish in today's prices. So is it a bargain? Who cares? It's a box of Monster High dolls, new Monster High dolls. I mean, there's only so much I can care at this point. The world is hard. Life is tough. There's six Monster High dolls in a box and I have not seen any before. I'm very excited. So in this box, we have uh, the return of Miss Torelai. We've got Draculaura. Uh, uh, wait, I skipped Frankie. Torelai, Frankie, Draculaura, Cleo, Claudine, and Deuce. So this is our first appearance of, of a monster. And uh, the box is really quite substantial. This would be a great gift. Um, it's a, a ghoul spirit pack. So it's a combination of sports themes, cheerleading themes, and just general athletic supporter themes. Does anybody remember that from Greece? If you are an athletic supporter. Um, so uh, it's a pretty cool gift. This is a cool gift pack. If you see it, I would get it. If you're not sure, if the kids in your life are going to like the new Monster High. I've got more information coming on that after October 1st, but I'm just gonna go with, I think they're gonna like it. So I am gonna show you the back of the box very quickly. Lots of people have done in-depth overviews and close-ups of all of this. I'm understanding the doll, getting it in my hand, and then giving you my first impressions as I sit here in my studio looking lovingly at each of their faces and 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 them and and saying what I think I'm gonna get them out of the box and I'll be right back they are out of the box here we go here we go so there are six dolls these are on my Kaiser stands which are my doll stands that I get on Amazon for small waisted dolls which work perfectly for these and I will put a link down below so you can get those it'll be an affiliate link if you use it I'll get a little bit of money thank you so I am super excited and and I also have comments I have many many comments so I am just going to start pairing away here we go. So in the original Monster High, the two predominant characters were Frankie and Draculaura. And my understanding from just the way the story seems to be, oh, we just lost the casket ball. The way the story looks like it's going to unfold, Claudine might be more the center or more of the viewpoint that we get. I don't know that for sure. That's just like what it seems to me. But I am going to start with these two, and I'm going to start with Frankie. So Frankie Stein has been reimagined, and Frankie is um, made up of a whole bunch of different people, because Frankie Stein, Frankenstein monster. Not Frankenstein, though. It's a monster made, but it's very confusing cybernetic bionic parts, which is pretty cool. So I guess in order to really bring home the pieces, parts feeling for Frankie, they gave prosthetic limb. I think that also is just great representation for people who have prosthetics. So it's about time. Yay. Uh, so in this multi-pack, Frankie is one of the supporters. So, uh, What's her name? <laughs> What's her face? Draculaura and Torelai are cheerleaders. Claudine is playing basketball, and then the other three are in the stands going, yay! So this doll is very bald. 
and I'm not talking about the side. The side is not flocked, it's just painted, and then this is extremely loosely rooted hair. Um, I mean, you can you can see right now the scalp is painted, but you can see the scalp like really, really easily. So very loosely rooted hair. Um, it's short hair. It's got the the lines in it. So, you know, not not super. I'm not super in love with the hair. I do love the face. Um, I love that we kept some elements of the original look. So we've got the the thing that I can never remember how to say with the eyes, got a staple across this eye or a stitch. I think of it as a staple. So it looks kind of like um, an eyebrow ring, but you know, it's got the two different colored eyes. I really like that we've got the dark eyeliner, like really going for it with the eyeliner. It's sort of a lighter color lip. So I love that the eyes are still really bold because you see, as you pull back, you still see those eyes, you know? And I feel like one of the things that happened in the reboot is that we really lost their eyes. We got those big anime eyes, but they didn't really have a lot of eyeliner. And I'm a fan of eyeliner. I really like eyeliner, especially for people with lighter eyes. It really makes your eyes stand out on your face and sort of instead of sort of blending in. Comes with this uh, finger, foam finger, that is not a foam finger, but unlike other foam fingers, it actually stays on because hand goes inside of it. So that's kind of a handy thing to have. I've got this really cute jersey on, which I'm kind of wishing that they would make in my size because it's really fun colors. It's very not, not goth. Um, and I'm trying to see if skirt is a separate piece or if this is all one piece. Okay. And this outfit is all one piece. So the skirt is not separate. This is just one sewn together piece of clothes, which remember it is, these are budget dolls. And even though they are quote unquote budget dolls, uh, they are articulated. We've got the elbows, hands. Let's see, do we have the chest articulation on these? We do, we do. You never get that in a doll that's 20 bucks. So that is really cool. And I love little prosthetics got, you know, sharpied on it, which is very, very cool. I hate the shoes. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I, I, they're Frankenstein boots, but they're lime green clear Frankenstein boots. They're feeling like very, not even Barbie extra, maybe like, I don't know. I don't know what level this is, but I'm not digging it. Not, I don't like the shoes. Cute little skullette earrings in the lime green. Um, it's only got one earring. And I, I, I do like being able to see her face in person. Um, right away, these dolls feel a little more substantial, just maybe in terms of the plastic. And maybe because they have that joint at the top, it makes their torsos feel more substantial. They don't feel um, as spindly as the original dolls. Now we've got Draculaura and so far, my opinion has been that she's my favorite reimagining. So far. That might change as we go along. I don't know. But so far, I'm really liking it. Now, this Draculaura, unfortunately, quite a few in this budget line have this issue. Um, her eyes are stamped incorrectly. Hello, camera. Her eyes are stamped incorrectly. So she looks a little bit like, it looks more of like a lazy eye than a looking to the side type of thing. Her eye is very much in the corner of her eye socket. Um, so it's just, a, I don't know. It's just, you look at her and you're like, something doesn't look right with that eye. Um, and I can see that it's hard to show it on camera, but I can see like where it should have, the stamping should have started. It should have started like just a fraction more towards where the eyelashes are is where that eye should have been stamped. And that's why it, it looks all funky. Um, so that's disappointing because it just makes her face look a little off. She's really cute though. I love, I love that they gave her the bat ears, like big, just bigger, more substantial bat ears. We've still got our heart. And I think that her catch lights in her eyes are hearts. Yes, they are. Sorry, I got distracted. Got distracted looking at the Wonk Eye. But would it be Monster High without Wonk Eye? I mean, how many times did Caden and I hold up a doll and go, yep, that's Wonk Eye. Um, you know, that's just, that's just part of being in love with these dolls. Uh, she's got a, whoops, she's got lighter pink lips, but that's okay. We've seen these light pink lips before on Draculaura. Her fangs are nice and prominent. I love the pointy bangs. I know some people have not been liking 
the the point bangs and if you want to get these to be more uh smashed down you can just wrap her head in saran um overnight and it'll kind of smash those smash those down love these little wings and look at that even just the little touch of using the black elastic on there so it just gives it a little more of an accent we've got black and pink hair which we have grown to love um i feel like if we let this hair down she will also be uh pretty lightly rooted uh her pom-poms are plastic uh, I think it would be too much to ask budget-wise for these pom-poms to be pom-poms like our original fear leading pom-poms which were pom-poms pom-pom how many times can I say pom-pom it's starting to feel weird the word's starting to feel weird to me now I love this uniform so much look at all of the drip it looks like a drip cake it's really really cute it's a good homage to the original fear leading outfit it's certainly not as high quality as the original fear leading costumes but it's still really really cute i love the black and the white and the pink and the drips it's really really cute and then she's got really simple cheerleading sneakers on that are very cute but at least they're not just a solid color i like that an effort was made here and draculaura's body style is significantly different than her original doll first of all she's petite so you know she was always canonically shorter than uh the other girls and now they've made that a real thing in the doll line she is actually smaller in stature um she is also more she's differently proportioned so she's got more curves um she's she's got a body that's more like a human body um so she doesn't have the super um you know the the, the super skinny spindly legs that the dolls originally had um i don't want to get her all naked in front of everybody but she's got she's 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 good i am really liking this and as a kid i would have felt so much more like like oh like it just would have i wouldn't i don't know that i would have had an emotional epiphany while looking at her but i think that it would have just been reassuring to see that you know okay well this doll's like this and this doll's like this and this doll's like this because everybody's different instead of having all of my dolls were all exactly the same body um so i think that that's really really important i also think just in general the dolls feel more substantial um and I, and i like that i like that i really really like her i think she's very cute these big chunky pom-poms kind of look like um they feel like brain they're very heavy so now let's move on to claudine now claudine's hair is is quite controversial and i didn't do anything to this hair um because i just wanted to show you out of the box now claudine's got a lot of hair a lot of hair i think that so i have my where's my doll brush yep, doll brush so this is my glitter girls doll brush that i love very much so i'm just going to kind of brush through the ends here so it's definitely going to poof out um because it's uh i think it's all polypropylene hair um so it's definitely gonna foof as you as you brush it out and then if you want to get it back to more curly you could just um moisten your hands or wash the hair and try to tame it down but having said that there is a lot of hair here to play with and it's not just brown hair with a purple um purple streak or grayish hair with a purple streak it's really interesting the colors that they've put together i don't know that i love this color palette as hair but i do appreciate that it's three different colors i just feel like they're kind of muted um but i guess it is more wolfy you know i don't know what i would have wanted it to be if it wasn't going to be a, re a deep, rich brunette, then what did I want it to be? I don't know. Um, I just feel like the light color is too, it's too like gray-ish. Like it almost ends up looking puce because of the purple. And I don't like the color puce. But anyway, here's Claudine. One of the other changes they made to Claudine is that she now has more monster 
in her. So you're not, I mean, you know, we always had the ears before, but looking at her face, it was just like, wow, fierce looking makeup. But now we can see, we've got fangs, we've got the little, her nose has got color on the end of it. Um, she looks like her eyes got stamped on pretty correctly. Um, and she's got cute little freckles. She's really, really cute. Claudine looks much younger to me. She looks more like Halene's age than she did in the original line. I think they all definitely look more like they're in high school. I mean, I think the original line very much had that, you know, late 90s, early 2000s and 2010s, you know, high school kids show where the kids were all played by actors in their 30s. That's what they all kind of looked like then, but now they actually do look, a lot of them, younger. And, and I think it's good, but she definitely looks more like Halene's age. Like if you told me this was uh, a junior high line, I'd be like, yeah, okay, that tracks. I'm trying to bend her arm. Um, her outfit is, it's actually two pieces. So this is her uniform. One really cute touch, which I'm really excited about, especially because this is um, a lower end price line, is that she's got fur on her jersey and the fur is really soft, really, really soft. So that's, that's kind of cool it's a nice little touch um and otherwise you know it's a casket ball jersey she's got her her uh you know orange knee band we got our socks which are not socks unfortunately they're just leg warmers so this poor girl is playing casket ball running up and down the course in sneakers with no socks on which is kind of gross um also what they added to claudine is she's got these fur marks on her um and i think it's on her arm as well is it on her arm on her arm yes down around her wrist so she's also got some fur marks so they've definitely more monsterfied her than she used to be i'm not loving the claudine yet i don't know that i will uh, as much as i loved the original claudine but she's cute oh orange orange sneakers forgot to show that okay let's get to the torali in the room so torali is back uh, she's on the fear leading team and she was on the fear leading team originally. So she and, Dr she and Draculaura are on the fear leading team. The first thing I want to point out is that that tail is on there. That tail, oops, lost that, is, look at that. I'm yanking on it even. If you remember original Torali and, and the Werecat sisters, those tails, and Jennifer, those tails just were constantly falling out. It was like pointless to keep their tails on them. But this is staying on really good. Her hair um, is also uh, feels like it's it's like that polypropylene material, so it's a little bit drier and it's gonna brush out and get a little floofy. But it's a lot of hair for kids to play with, which kids are going to like. Um, it's really really bright colors. It's pink and orange. I also don't like pink and orange together, but I know that is very very trendy color combination. Uh, really like her little top knot. That's a cute look that gives us a chance to see her little tabby markings. Look at her little tabby cat markings. And she also has got more of a monster, so she is a werecat. We've got the little nose, tabby markings, the ears, super cute. Um, this fear leading uniform is different than the one that Draculaura was wearing. Uh, so I guess on their fear leading team, they get the opportunity to express their personalities, which is kind of a cool thing. Generally the same colors, but in their own style. So hers has got this sort of Flintstones <laughs> torn look on it. And then the cat scratches, which is kind of cool. And then the pleats and there's her tail poking through. Um, and then she also is uh, doing uh, no socks. I don't know what it is. I guess monsters don't need socks is, is, is the, uh, and then these kind of hideous colored yellow, like warmer things. It's interesting. They didn't even try to give Draculaura fake socks. <laughs> they were just like, yeah, no, she just got, she just got her feet stuck in the sneakers. We're not even going to pretend and give her socks. I wonder what that, the thought process was there. I'm so, oh, and also she comes with a megaphone monster. Hey, okay. Let's look at Deuce. We'll save Cleo for last. So we get our manster. I don't understand his accessory because in the picture, he is holding this in his hand kind of in front of him in the picture, but it's on this big elastic like this. So I'm like, what is he supposed to wear it on his face? Like, is this what it's supposed to be? I think that's what it's supposed to be, even though he was holding it in his hand in the pictures. I think like this is school spirit. I'm rocking the school spirit mask. 
I don't know, um, or ghoul spirit. So there he is. So it's interesting because he's got the, the black stuff on his face as if he's on the team or like he's playing football, but he's not. He's not in this game. So that was a strange choice. Um, Deuce's, Deuce has got the kind of monochromatic green snake things. And I hope that at some point we're going to see Deuce with more interesting color or detail in, in his, in his, his hair. Cause I don't know. I'm not, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I, I want them to have, like, I want somebody to repaint this for me, Caden, um, and give it a little more dimension. But he's cute. Of course, he comes with his glasses, which here they are, because we can't really gaze upon his face. Now, can I get these glasses on him? Is there a way to get these under his snakes? <sighs> eh. Eh. Okay. If you work really, really hard, sort of, you can kind of get the glasses under his snakes. <laughs> it's not a good look though not a good look um and then he's got this really funky cool shirt that i almost kind of want like these are colors we i don't think we've seen together before with monster high green and purple uh, like in the logo and i i kind of like it it's an interesting combination uh this is these are separates these are two pieces and then he's got these kind of this is making me think wolf family four pack right here with the stripes uh got this really interestingly drawn snake on it hit now this is interesting his knee joints feel loose that's the first time i've said that he has molded on socks so we gave do socks but we molded them into his shoes so he's just got plastic tubes going up his leg i'm so sorry sweetie so sorry that's got to be so uncomfortable my ankles get so sweaty man oh dude right yeah yeah so i know i'm being critical and i'm sorry for being critical because i know the designers work really hard on putting these designs together and then it's, you know, there's a team that has to get together to figure out what materials to use. And then that's got to go through budgetary process. Like, can we use those materials? I'm sure they would have loved to have made full length socks for the dolls. But to get the dolls into this six pack, I believe this is a Walmart exclusive. Um, Walmart at the moment, in general, Walmart has always got extreme pressure on uh, cost of goods when you're working with Walmart. And so, because you know, I work a lot in the toy industry nowadays. And so it, it may not always come down to what the team wants or even the brand wants, because in order to back into the number that they have to hit on what Walmart's gonna buy that six pack for, cuts have to be made. And so, you know, that is probably how we ended up without having full socks, with having molded on socks um, and some of the uh, quality choices that we're looking at. But remember, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cool people who buy dolls for kids and themselves. It's a six pack of Monster High dolls and they're cool and they're fun and there's a lot of play value here. So I think it's a cool set. I'm just from a collector standpoint. So. Um, here she is. Cleo is quickly eclipsing for me, uh, Draculaura as my favorite of the reboot dolls. Now, there's a couple of reasons for this. The first one is Cleo Denial, out of all of the dolls, seem to, seems to have retained the more mature face look. So she looks older than all of the girls. Also, I love her Eye of Horus eyes. I love the gold accents. I love the boldness of her brow. I love that they did this little tiny change, but it is so ancient Egypt artistically inspired with the stripe, the gold stripe on her lip. I love that. I am loving that so much. These little monster high head band poor cleo but she's into it she's into it oh she was waving a flag that i just dropped on the ground okay uh this she has tinsel 
she's got gold tinsel now this tinsel is a little bit better than the original tinsel we had it's still going to wrinkle up but it's not going to fray as much as the original monster hide tinsel did um, her hair feels really nice it's nice and straight um, I think you know kids will like it it's not it's not as long as Toralize or Claudine so there isn't as much hair play in terms of oh braid it ponytail it section it but it's still pretty substantial hair cute earrings she also has a jacket and the jacket is I think removable oh my god this is a jacket that actually comes off and it is a separate piece from the dress now this dress is definitely a uh, Barbie color reveal or Barbie fashion pack dress and I don't mind I love this dress I want this dress I don't care that it's not printed on the back look at how cute that is and how much that catches the light I mean she's walking into this pep rally like mm, 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 mm. she's got this really cool jacket on she's got all these different colors and look at the netting on the sleeves like it's just like a little elevated because this is Cleo denial here people this jacket is totally Cleo totally Look at that. We've got hieroglyphics. We've got gold. We've got teal. It's so Cleo. I love that there's even a little bit of edging here. And then she's got mummy wraps molded onto her. And then her shoes. I think her shoes are the best in this, this multi-pack as well. I love her. Love her, love her, love her. So it seems like I am in love with Cleo Denial. Of course you are. Of course I am. Not that I don't love Draculaura, but that's the way this is kind of ending up for me, is that, um, yeah, I think that she... Get, get, get out of the way. She is my new... Wait, get, get next to my girlfriend. Jeez, sorry. Sorry. She's my new fave. I'm surprised. How about you? I want to start hearing your thoughts in the comments. Now, I have a lot more information coming for you starting uh, October 1st about the whys and wherefores of how did we end up with these colors, faces, bodies, overall concept. Um, Monster High has shared that information um, with a bunch of us so that we can communicate it to you, and I'm really looking forward to doing that. In the meantime, I want to hear what are your thoughts about this six pack? Uh, do you think the pricing is fair? Do you think that the quality is worth it to get six dolls for however much this was? For me, it was definitely worth it because they're my first Monster High dolls, and I at this moment in time, I feel like I want to collect all of the G3 dolls that come out because I don't want to regret not having them later and then like in five years heading over to eBay and having to pay $500 for this six pack. That's my thoughts. So <laughs> I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon.